Hey guys, what's up? Dizzy Nuts here. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to be talking about tripods. The ones that I have, the ones that I use, and what I use them for. Let's go. Okay, tripods. Now, as you've probably seen in my previous videos, I did talk about the lenses and all that other fun stuff that I have in the bag, but I haven't talked about the tripods that I use and the ones that I use in the park. So there's a couple of tripods that I use and they come from different sizes. As you know, tripods come in all different shapes and sizes. And I'll start from the first one that I got all the way to the, uh, probably the newest one that I got. Now, the first tripod that I ended up buying for, for myself or actually invested a, a lot of money and I say a lot of money, which is actually, which is the, this one, which is the Mi Photo. And it cost me around 160 bucks at the time. And what I liked of this tripod is that it actually comes in different colors. So you can actually personalize to your style, if you want to call it that way. And it's basically uh, the Mi Photo Road Trip. And you actually, the way that you carry it, you put the legs up backwards like this. And you can hang it off of the side of your bag. And that's it. And this is what I would use probably for the first couple of years, uh, walking around the parks for photos and stuff like that. Now, um, the cool thing of the Mi Photos is that they're really sturdy, really sturdy tripods. I'll be honest with you. They're great as for, you know, they're not going to flimsy on you. They don't feel flimsy. This feels really good. You, have, you can actually use this as a weapon if needed. Um, the only downside that I have of this tripod was that the ball head, uh, for some reason, got locked up one time and I couldn't get it to unlock. And, um, I think I emailed the guys at Me Photo asking what should I do, and they said, "Well, you gotta send it in, pay the shipping, and all this other stuff." And I said, "You know what? For 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 being the ball head, to be honest with you, what I just do, I just get another one off of Amazon. I made sure that the plate that was on the top was compatible with the uh, Me Photo one, which is an Arca plate, what they call it, and it it, it was the same size, which was 50. So I have one plate on my camera, and it's compatible with all my tripods because you can." eventually get just the ball head which is like 20 30 bucks depending what you're looking for so this was the first tripod i got i used for a bunch of things i actually got it because i wanted to shoot over people's heads in hollywood studios of uh, uh, fantasy in the sky was going off they had fireworks they would shoot from inside the uh, hollywood studios and i wanted to shoot it from the end of the street but i always had the problem that my tri other tripods were really small and I needed something to shoot over people's heads, so that's why I ended up getting this one. Next the next tripod that I got, and it wasn't in this particular order, was a similar tripod. In this case, it's from Neewer, um, but it's actually this, basically the same thing. Uh, in case of the legs, it's different because the way that the legs are, are uh, set is instead of rotating out, you actually pop them here and then you pull them out, etc. And this is basically the same thing. You flip the legs the other way around and that's where you store it. And it came with its own ball head, uh, which is, uh, again, compatible with the Arca plate. So the plate that I have on my camera from the Mi Photo, uh, from the Mi Photo tripod uh, works as well. As you can see here, it's the same same size. A little different on the front and stuff like that because it got like a little leveler on it. But as for uh, compatibility, it works great. And you know, you got your, your release here for the release of the ball head and works awesome and way cheaper as well. So. That was, uh, this is the second tripod that I use. And many times, uh, I'll sometimes take this one if it's if I have to take a longer tripod because it's lighter, even though it's longer, but it's, uh, but it's a great tripod. Okay. Now, the third tripod that I have here is one that I've been mentioning a lot and the one that I've been taking probably the most of the parks. And again, it's another tripod from Neewer and it's probably like 20 inches, as you can see here. Um, it is awesome. You can set the, the legs out in two different positions. So if you're shooting really low, you can actually have it like this where the legs are pretty much uh, a, a little bit more uh, sticking out or if not, you want to do your regular, um, you know, set it up like this. Obviously it doesn't go up or down, um, but again, the, the ball head is compatible with the Arca plate. So um, same thing, nothing fancy here. You know, you release the, the ball head from here and you tighten it on the top. Um, what I like of this one is that you can actually extend the legs a little bit. So you can still get some reach off of this one, which is pretty cool. So not all your shots are going to be looking like if they're on from the ground up. And what I like of this one also is it's got these little foam things here. So sometimes I'll use this to, uh, to like put pressure on the side of the railings and stuff like that. So let's say you're on a railing and you want to, you know, try to put a little bit of pressure on it so it doesn't move because I'll sometimes shoot off of the sides of railings with, with this tripod, believe it or not. And I'll set the, you know, the, the little uh, phone things here and I'll hold it and hopefully for the rest uh, for the best it doesn't shake and so this is tripod number three that I have and this is probably the one that's mostly most of the time inside my bag to be honest with you the next one I have is this one which is the Manfrotto which you've probably seen all the bloggers with 
which is a Manfrotto Pixie. And it's a great little tripod, to be honest with you. Uh, the only, only, only thing uh, with this tripod, obviously the smaller you get the tripods, the bigger the lens, uh, just by forces of nature, it's gonna tip over. So you gotta be very careful with that. Now I will be honest, when it comes to little tripods like this, 99% of the time, I'll leave the camera strap over my neck and I'll just be standing right there next to the tripod with the with the camera. Because I just don't, these things, while they're great and they hold the camera, um, I just don't trust a you know a thousand dollar camera to go forward and loosen your lens or whatever. So this is the uh, the Manfrotto Pixie, and this one the construction on this is amazing to be honest with you. Because even though it's small and the legs are made out of plastic, the ball head is actually made out of metal. And the, this thing, if you press it here and release the ball head, and as soon as you release it, it locks and it will lock and it will not move. It is it is really amazing how it works. And you can see it actually, uh, hopefully you can see that the ball head has its, uh, has lines there of, you know, so once you release this button, it's gonna lock itself there and it's not it's not going anywhere. So this is another amazing little tripod. And this is the one that all the bloggers use. You'll see me you know, walking around with the camera on top and you know, uh, but this one holds um, my uh, Canon 80D, believe it, a Canon 80D in one lens with no problem. And this is, you know, like I said, you could set this up anywhere and it works great. And again, the uh, Arca plate uh, that I bought for the camera, because again, all these, if for any reason it comes with a ball head, all these, uh, you know, uh, tripods have the standard screw here that you can buy this plate uh, separately and just put it on there and off your, off you're ready to go and there you got the the plate which is compatible with what you have in your camera that way you're not changing plates on the camera okay now talking of all this tripods and other stuff i do want to say that you know don't get too focused on having to buy a really expensive tripod because it's going to improve your photography that's just not how it works sure when it comes to lenses when it comes to camera yes you know lenses are going to make a really big difference camera's going to make a really big difference when it comes to the tripod there's not gonna make any difference. It's not gonna make your photography better or anything like that. As long as you get a tripod that holds the camera still and keeps it stable, you will be fine. And I wanna give an example. A while back, um, I, I had a couple of photos that were featured in this book, which is one you get off of Amazon and it's sold a bunch of millions of books and stuff like that. A bunch of us photographers were featured on this book and I had actually five photos featured here. But the one that I liked the most was actually the one that was featured in the centerfold, which is this one. And you can see here, it's uh, it's the castle, you know, from the back, it was a long exposure. And I took this photo with a, probably a six inch tripod shooting off of a trash can, okay? So just to give you an idea that, you know, here I am, you know, with a uh, six inch tripod shooting off of a trash can and the photo gets featured for the, for the centerfold, you know? So don't get too focused on, it has to be a certain brand and stuff like that. And I know many people, you know, it has to be the German one, the three-legged one, whatever. I bet, I, I'm sure there are awesome tripods, but I've found that even using sometimes a backpack, if I don't have anything available, works. I've even shot stuff from the ground up, and to be able to give the angle, uh, that camera, give it that angle, I actually put my wallet underneath the lens and the, I put it a tilted backwards. You know, so use what you have, and if you got the money to spend on gear, when it comes to tripods, go for it. It's your money, not mine. But I've found that using these simple devices and stuff that I've found, uh, they're sturdy enough for me and they work and hopefully they'll work for you. I'll put a link to all of the devices that I have here that I showed you on the description. Okay guys, well that's it. Here from home, showing you the tripods that I use. Until then guys, stay awesome. See ya, bye.